Well, you know, like I was telling you earlier, it was a portable school for two years. And during that two years, we really didn't have much Route 66 decoration or anything. Um, when the architects began to do the drawings for the permanent facility, we put together a committee of teachers, myself, maintenance, uh, parents, even some students, and asked them, you know, what do you want the school to look like and how are we going to decorate it? One of the issues that year was that uh, we really needed to stick to our budget and we needed to build the school for less than the last two elementary schools have been built. And so we said, well, you know, let's make it look, uh, we want it to look like Route 66. So the architects came up with the idea of staining the concrete in the hallways rather than tiling and putting the large, you know, words of the states with the borders all the way around the main hallway. And then the, s the hallways that come off of that, which there's three other hallways, they have a dotted white line and crosswalk lines in between the classrooms so that it looks like a street. And uh, all the room signs have a shield. That's a Route 66 shield. Um, collecting all the other stuff, like, like this stuff behind me is just things that I've collected over the six years that students have given to me. They'll go on vacation. Um, the hubcaps, the bumpers, the trunk lids, things like that. We collected a lot of those our first year, but just didn't put them into the building until it was built two years later. <laughs>